You're listening to the One Man Show Network. Welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast with your host, Aaron Weinbaum. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast. I am your host, Aaron Weinbaum. This is the Thanksgiving edition. There are no fights this weekend, but we must march on because there's a, a few good weeks coming up. So uh, if you're on the Periscope, feel free to jump in and say hi. If you are on the YouTube, hit subscribe. And if you're listening uh, audioly, like iTunes, Spotify, and whatnot, uh, thanks for listening. And you're helping build this podcast. Uh, keep spreading the word. All right. So it looks like a uh, heartbreaking event here. I don't really know how to start this story, but uh, it has been confirmed by ESPN. MMA is where I, I saw this first broken. Alabama district attorney said that uh, on Monday that authorities have a good reason to believe human remains were found belonging to the missing stepdaughter of UFC heavyweight fighter Walt Harris. So uh, this is a tough one for me. I don't know Walt personally. I don't. But my firstborn is a 19-year-old uh, girl as well. She's currently away at college. I, I worry. I worry about her every day. You know, I, I just trust. I I raised her to make good decisions, and I, I every day I hope you know it, nothing happens to her. But you never know, and life's too short. I just had another friend recently whose daughter, getting ready to go to college, died in a horrific car accident on the interstate. So you know, tomorrow's not promised, and. Uh, those of you with daughters, you know, you they just gotta you just gotta take extra care of them, and uh, you know they think they mo- know more than you, and and that's just part of it. But so, um, yeah, I mean, luckily my daughter and I are close. And I'm not saying that the family was not close to her daughter, but you know she tells me everything, and uh, sometimes that's horrifying, but it is what it is. I'd rather have that type of relationship with her. So my heart goes out to Walt Harris and uh, his family. You know, nobody, nobody should have to out, uh, outlive their child. Yeah. All right. Um, moving on. Gina Carano appeared on the Ariel Hawani show, finally. Uh, she said she was offered at one time a million dollars to fight Ronda Rousey, but needed time to find a camp. I believe it was like five, six months or whatnot. So then after the deal was made, Dana White apparently put the pressure on her, uh, sent her a mean text that wasn't quite meant for her, probably. It, it was... He was probably sending it to someone else, but it ended up going to her, like, something to the effect, like, this chick's not going to deal or, or whatever. And uh, so that deal died. So that was a fight we could have had and uh, we, we never will have. And it looks like I froze my comments somehow, but I apologize if you are trying to comment. Anyway, so, bummer. That would have been a great fight back in the day. Now, Chris Weidman also interviewed on the Helwani show says he will fight on, unsure about which weight class. Could be 205 or 185. He says he feels great. He wasn't concussed. Um, You know, I wasn't there. He looked concussed, but, uh, I mean, he says he's fine. So, I just wish, you know, everyone talks about 165, 165. There needs to be a 165-pound weight class. Why is there a 195-pound weight class? That's where Jacare, that's where Luke... Rock hole. I don't know, Luke's pretty big, but he still looked kind of small against John Blockwitz. You know, that's where he belongs. Jockeray, Weidman, Rockhold. Um, man, I don't know. I, I would like to see that weight class. I would like to see a 165-pound weight class. These 20-pound jumps are crazy. 15-pound jump from 170 to 185. 20 pounds from 185 to 205. Um, you know, these guys are just killing themselves to make weight, or they're just not big enough, and then they're really put themselves out there against bigger guys. You know, I think Kevin Lee, I don't know how successfully he made the weight at 155 this time around. He did make the weight, and he did look good, but he's one of those bigger guys that go 165. RDS is one of those, uh, RDA, sorry, Rafael Desanos is one of those guys that go 165. So, you know, I, I don't know. In, in an era where they seem to be clamoring for main events every once in a while, um, what harm would it do? To go 155, 165, 175, 185, 195, and 205. Because as many events as they put on, you would think you would think they want want more options. All these fight nights and everything else. Um, 
that's just my two cents. I'm not Dana White. I just pretend like I am. But, uh, you know, shout out Dana Unleashed, I guess. All right, and speaking of weight class, Jose Aldo fighting Marlon Marias at 135 pounds. Is he going to make that weight? I don't know, man. This is crazy. This was a guy, he would miss media obligations because he was trying so darn hard to hit 145 pounds. Says his future is at 155 pounds, you know, back in the day. But here we are. He is fighting at 135 pounds, and all of a sudden he's in the conversation for a title shot. Then you got Frankie, <laughs> excuse me, Frankie Edgar down there. Could we see a Frankie Aldo 3 title eliminator if Frankie wins his fight? Um, against Corey Sanhagen, that's a big if. Corey's a tough dude. Uh, Marlon's a tough dude. So I, I don't know. This is this is there's some crazy circumstances here. And when's Aljo gonna get better? Aljo, shout out, buddy. Uh, let me know when you're gonna get better. But this is insane. So I, I don't know. Right now, I'm gonna have to sell on him making 135 pounds. I don't think he's gonna do it. I think well, 136. He has to make 136 for this fight. I don't see it. But I could be wrong. Uh, maybe he laid off certain things. You know, this is not an aside a joke, but maybe it is. I don't know. All right. Tony El Kukui, uh Ferguson rumored to be next up for Habib Narega Menoff. Uh, I think this would be the April card in, in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, man, it's like they're asking for trouble. They're trying to reschedule this fight in Brooklyn. You know what happened last time is Connor threw a... Uh, a dolly through a bus. Some say it was a real estate sign. That's what Ally Quinta says. Anyway, and Ally Quinta ended up getting that shot. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And that before that, Tony hurts himself and he's out of the fight. So interesting. I just I just hope they have Daryl Horcher on uh, standby just in case. So that's insane. And then finally, uh, Brett Akamato reports that the UFC has revised its anti-doping policy in large part due to the combat. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, the, con- the it's about the contaminated supplement cases. So several changes, including immunity of punishment if athletes use certified supplements. So thank you, Brett Akamoto, for that. That's good news. Uh, these guys are getting, still getting the hammer down. These, these, these supplements are going off and getting tested. They were approved. All of a sudden, now they're not approved. Um, so good. I, I, I just hope that uh, something comes out of that. As well, some fun on the Iaquinta Realty account as of late. Everyone's wondering why they got blocked by uh, Tony Ferguson, but not the Iaquinta Realty account. But the Aaron says, what account? Blocked. And I will tell you, in, uh, this is insider news on why you got blocked. If you're wondering why you are a verified Twitter user and you got blocked by El Kukui, I'm going to tell you. So a while back, him and Al kind of had a beef back and forth. And so... Anyone that engaged in that by either liking or retweeting a tweet of them going back and forth, verified filter was turned on, blocked you. Now, I joke on the Iaquinta Realty account that the renter filter was turned on, but that was not the case. So if you're wondering why you're a UFC fighter, out of the blue, blocked by El Kukui, Tony Ferguson, that is why, kids. So, uh, yeah. And... Uh, Golly, I sure hope I didn't disable the comments, but it looks like I kind of did. So I'm sorry if you tried to leave a comment and could not. Um, my bad. So I'm going to probably end this here. Uh, until next time, this is Aaron Weinbaum for the MMA Fight Picks podcast. Tell all your friends and uh, don't podcast and drive. Oh, 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 there it is. Please remember to support the podcast by visiting the affiliate links on AaronSaysWhat.com.